you think? Hey, good morning everybody. It's Monday, November 12, 2018, and I'm headed into work. Before we get this week started, let's uh, fix some camera settings here. All right, how's that looking? Are we better? Should be brighter now. Well, I didn't have much time to vlog over the weekend. I think it was mostly in part that I wasn't really feeling good. You can still hear I got some congestion and stuff. I uh, still got a little bit of a cough, all that good stuff. But, um... I am overall feeling better. So yesterday, uh, or last night, I took more NyQuil. I was out, dude. I, I was so tired. I woke up to pee in the middle of the night, and like my like whole body was just aching and sore. Not like flu aching. It's from all the work and being on my feet for the last uh, two days and over the weekend and stuff. Um, so, we uh, <clears throat> made it through the weekend. On Saturday, I did what I needed to get done for the wedding. So, I'm, I'm happy with that. I did not want to be more miserable or whatever. That would have been bad. Uh, Kylie and Jake's wedding went really, really well on Saturday. It was nice. It was really nice. Um, they got married uh, out west. Kind of, like, not too far from Luke's house, actually. And I borrowed uh, some gear from Luke. So I borrowed a couple of white stands, um, his uh, two flashpoint um, mono lights, and uh, his glow pop. I didn't use a glow pop at all. I didn't have any time whatsoever to do that. But um, it was good. It was. It ended up being really nice. Oh, look at this Buick Regal. Rare. And, uh, nice. you don't see many regals on the road anymore. And, uh, it was a good day on Saturday. Really good day. It was nice to see everyone. I, you know, they're like a second family to me. I cough when I talk, so I don't know how much more vlogging I'm going to do. That's probably why I didn't vlog on the weekend. Um, so that was Saturday. Saturday, everything was good. Sunday, uh, Grant let me sleep in a little bit. We ended up, uh, got up, got some laundry done on Sunday. We went and, uh, Grant and I went and uh, got the car washed. So I, I have a monthly plan through a place called Delta Sonic. It's like one of those gas stations with the car wash built into it. And I think it's like 20 bucks a month for unlimited car washes. So we drove across town and got that. And then they also have a deal, um, like I get discounted gas through them. It's actually double discounted. So I got some um, 87 octane gas for $2.29. It's probably the lowest price in fucking years. Um, pretty amazing. Uh, so we got gas, got the car wash. I did a little bit of a vacuum job. Oh, Sunday morning I had to unload the whole car. So I just got home and just pulled in and that was it. Oh, I forgot to mention too, Saturday after the the wedding, I made a trip over and met up with Nikki at uh, one of the Beatles uh, concerts. So they were performing not too far from my house and I surprised her and she was very surprised. She was, uh, she was ecstatic, ecstatic and excited. So we went over, um, went out there and uh, I had a drink with her and it was nice. So that was another reason why I'm so tired and sore. So I left the uh, wedding probably about 11, or no, 10.30 or something. <clears throat> Met her and then watched them perform for like another hour. It was like the last hour of their set or whatever, their performance. So they uh, were on until 12.30. So it was almost like 1 when I got home Saturday night. So then Sunday, like I said, I got the car unpacked. We got gas. We got the car wash. Um... And then we went and Grant and I, we went to, uh, we picked up some lunch on the way home. And while we were stopping to pick up some lunch, we saw like this really, he's kind of like famous, but this local homeless guy, he's got a bike with like three trailers attached to it. And he pulls this thing through the, the town and it says like, Jesus loves you and God, 
um, forgives and all this stuff. He has all this like religious stuff on it. And he even had like two doggies with him. And it was like low 30s yesterday. It was nicer out, but maybe maybe like upper 30s. But uh, the guy walked in and went into like the Arby's just to warm up. So Grant was asking me some questions. I'm like, oh, I can't remember that guy's name. I'm like, he's really nice though. I'm like, we should go, you know, say hi to him. All I had on me was three dollars. So I gave him some money, and uh, he uh, asked what Grant's name was. He asked what my name was, and all that stuff. Really, really nice guy. And uh, you know, it's this is a tough time of the year for him with the uh, cold and all that. So. Um, it was nice, but Grant had all kinds of questions and stuff. We didn't really talk much with him, but uh, we'll see him around more. We'll bring him some more money and stuff some, sometime soon here. Um, so, uh, I'm trying to think of what else is going on. And then yesterday, we just kind of, um, oh, we got the grass cut. All the yard work done. First time trying out the new lawnmower, so this is a... Toro personal pace lawnmower. It's like what it used, but it was basically brand new. So it was like a three, three hundred fifty dollar lawnmower. Lawnmower. My dad bought it for like one hundred fifty bucks, and uh, it's uh, it's a GTS guaranteed to start. Like it, it, there's it's like an automatic choke and everything. Like you don't even have to pump the little primer. I'm trying to think. Um, I think it's like seven and a quarter horsepower or something. Pretty crazy. But, uh, so we did that, cut the grass. Grant was almost able to, to uh, do everything by himself now with the lawnmower. He was able to push it himself and turn it around and all that. So next spring, I think he'll be, uh, he'll be going. Um, I shot a little over 1,800, so between 18 and 1,900 images from Saturday. So I worked on, I copied those over from the memory cards to the hard drive. And then I had to convert the raw files to digital negative files to work with my older version of software. And then I imported all of them into Lightroom. I did the basic edit, preset or whatever. And then I did the one-to-one uh, -one preview build. So that took hours. It took all day yesterday into the night so I went to bed and it was only halfway done building those previews and I've been doing that for hours at that point so um, all that automated like time consuming work has been completed or done and we're going to uh, now I can start doing first pass and all that type of stuff yeah um, so that's it guys uh that's the whole weekend. It's it's been a it's been you know exhausting. Last night we just kind of watched uh, we started watching Moana. We didn't finish it, but we watched Moana and then uh, went to bed. You know about nine o'clock or so. So I got um, I don't know probably almost nine hours of sleep, and I could probably use another nine. So see you out there fucking exhausted um, working on these watercolor paintings at work I got into the new training system um, it's uh, seems to be pretty good it's definitely going to be like a time consuming thing and all that I tried setting up my mining rig in my one back office so I could do the training in there and stuff where it's quiet and it won't uh, boot video from the motherboard. So that was my mining rig that I was using the, all those graphics cards for video output. And I pulled all those graphics cards and sold them off. And now I can't fucking, um, you know, boot up the video from the motherboard. So I'm not sure what the fuck's going on with that. It's pissing me off. It's making me really mad. Uh... <clears throat> I'm like tired so I'm realizing there's a whole world of exploration with this watercolor stuff you know like it's pretty cool man so I guess my my paintings that I've been doing thus far they're what people would call monochromatic so they're not very um, 
interesting. They're kind of just like flat. And that's like, you know, step one. Then step two is to start getting into colors and mixing colors and all that type of stuff and like learning, you know, techniques and processes and stuff. So, um, we we'll playing with that more this week and stuff. Uh, my friend Jess, kind of worried about her. She's got her consultation for her eye surgery Wednesday. And then Friday she has, um, she's supposed to have the actual surgery. So it's LASIK surgery, but she has an issue with her eyes where they're like cone shaped. And her eyes are running out of meat for them to operate on. And what happens is, is over time it's deteriorating her eyesight to the point where I think it's just one of her eyes really bad. But she's gonna like probably ultimately eventually lose her eyesight. And uh, I think it's to the point where like contacts and glasses won't work or something like that. So. Um, she's waiting to see at this Wednesday consultation if she's still eligible and able to do this surgery. So I'm hoping the best for her. I know she's stressed out over it and all that stuff. So, yeah. That's it, guys. Get you caught up. I need to rest my voice and get to work. Stay tuned for more.